All right, guys, welcome to episode 42 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Yo. We're back with another episode, man. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Don't forget to thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you're notified as soon as the videos come out, man. But we're chilling today, bro. How you feeling, bro? Man, I'm chilling. I'm litty. Facts. It's my day off. I'm feeling good. Real talk, man. You know what I mean? Days off, bro. They're so fucking underrated, though. Yeah, like, I just want to chill, relax. I don't want to hear nobody. Yeah, get disconnected from the world, like, you know what I'm saying? Go yeah. ahead and leave yeah. my phone alone for a day. Just yeah. one day. Yeah, just don't call me. Don't text me. Don't say, Facts. hey, hey, man. Like, what? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Just know I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Facts. I love you. Not nah, facts. I love all of y'all. I really do. But sometimes everybody needs their own fucking space, bro. Yeah, that's true. Real talk. That's true. But yeah, man, we're getting older, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're getting older. I don't know about you, but mom's, you know, she be asking, oh, you dating? You know what I'm saying? You got a girl around and shit. Mm -hmm. I be having a reminder, bro. I'm like, look, uh, no, I don't have a serious relationship lined up because picking a fucking girl that you want to marry is like picking a business partner yeah you know i'm saying that's how i feel yeah like it's one and it, it goes hand in hand mm -hmm. because a, a wife isn't just a wife she's a business partner she's you know your confidant she's your best friend she's all that so if she's you know what i'm saying like she only has certain things to offer and this is vice versa this is for guys too you know girls that date guys that don't have much to offer guys that aren't on their page mm -hmm. and it's not there's nothing wrong with saying no. Like, I don't want to date you because, you know, you don't bring the same shit to the table that I do. It's okay to do that. Yeah, yeah, I really To feel, know your value. Yeah, yeah, I really feel like it. I mean, I know personally, like, I know some females that, uh, you know, they take care of, they, they were the ones that was taking care of, like, the financial mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Maybe he was the one cooking, doing stuff at the house. Maybe it's just flipped around. Like, right. Uh, but, no, I think it's, I think you're right. I think I'm on your side with that um i don't think i think it's like basically like i feel like females damn i fucked up <laughs> my dog is lit i'm too i'm too high right now I'm nah, sorry, my guys. dog is litty bro that shit damn. man we we be fucking pining before the show guys nah not nah, my so. bad guys yeah but nah real talk bro like pick, picking somebody that you're gonna marry, bro, is not just picking somebody that looks good and and you want to fuck. Like there's other things that come with it, and business is one of those things. Mm -hmm. Cause a family is a business. Starting yeah. a family, starting a bit, like it, it goes hand in hand. And the people that know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah. And they'll get it. But yeah, but I'm yeah, not man. in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm single. You know yeah, what I mean? facts. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to rush into anything. I'm. Not, I'm also not. You know. I'm not denying anything. Like, if something were to come up, I'll, you know, I'll see what's up. But mm -hmm. I haven't found nothing serious yet, bro. That shit, that's, that's dead right now. Yeah, yeah. Because, man, because if you're, if you're in a relationship with the wrong person, I really feel like that could really, like, destroy it. That, that could fuck up your whole life. Yeah. Because being in a relationship with the wrong person, then you end up marrying that person, having kids with that person. Now, when you want to leave, it it's not just as easy as leaving like you have kids to worry about you have things together house whatever it is that you guys bought together that you got to worry about and shit and then now you have to go to the government to ask for permission to get fucking divorced and if they don't find a good enough reason you can't get divorced you see what i'm saying and That's it's like come on bro like it's so much extra shit that goes into it that you got to really think about the person you're marrying bro like you can't just jump into something like that like yeah that's just serious bro yeah it can make you or break you some niggas go broke <laughs> <laughs> some people go broke bro and talking about that man like i was asked the other day if it mattered if women make more money than men in a relationship mm -hmm. one of my homegirls asked me that she mm -hmm. was like yo do you think it matters if a girl makes more money than the man in a relationship and i told her i personally don't think so you know what I'm saying? Like, I I personally don't think that it fucking matters. If you guys are a team, you're a team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Especially if you're married. Yeah. Right? If you're married, it's like, whatever I got, you got. Whatever you got, I got. Like, that's how it should be. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, if not, then there's no point in getting married. Like, for real. Like, if you don't, if you don't have that trust in that person like that. Yeah. With money, then what the fuck do you have trust with? But. 
That's true. Yeah, man. Like it's is. I feel like it's a lot of fucking sexism shit, you know, that's been passed down from generation to generation. Like, all oh, the man is supposed to make more money. The man is supposed to do this. The women's supposed to do that. And shit's changing, bro. Yeah, shit's changing. And it's every good, day. bro. I yeah. feel like it's good. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, I think it's really good. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters. I really feel like, because I've seen it. Like, I've seen. And their their relationships are perfectly fine. Like they're okay with it. Like like sometimes the roles switch. They they they. What do you call that? They switch just, up. Yeah, they just switch up. Yeah. You know. It's and, life, bro. You, sometimes you're up. Sometimes you're down. Yeah. You know. Sometimes one year you might make more money than your wife. The next year your company took a hit. Hers grew. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's making more money than you. Like yeah. It, it's life, bro. That's how that shit goes. It's crazy, and that's awesome though. That's awesome because there's a lot of like successful women out there, and sometimes Facts. like they meet that that individual, you know what I mean? They really like that person, you know what I mean? And if he's a bum bum, like a, like a bum, then I really feel like then that's a no no, you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Like if he keeps making the wrong decisions over and over again, and then you still trying to like take care of him, it's like I think that's a no no. But like if dude has like a good normal do- like normal job, he does his shit good person mm-hmm. I think it's okay yeah bro so. it's about being a good person bro it's like yeah like if he's taking advantage of her or whatever yeah. shit like that it, that's different but if it's like they really love each other they care for each other and you know she just so happens to make more money than him who gives a fuck they're happy you know what I'm saying like they yeah. make that shit work that's how it goes that's how but, it be but yeah, man, moving on to something a little bit more serious, you know what I'm saying, that another question that I was asked is like, does rioting bring more awareness or cause more harm? Like when it comes to, to a, certain issues or any issue, really, does rioting, you know, bring more awareness or cause more harm? And personally, I feel like it causes more harm in the long run because people get distracted by the riot. <laughs> yeah, like and they damn, forget I'm about the original problem. Yeah, it's yeah. like, damn, what the fuck? Like they're tearing the city up and shit. What if like, they come to my house, you know what I mean? Right. Like, or my business. And it yeah, and then it's fucked up cuz a lot of the times it's is it's people that are normal people, middle class people that own little little storefronts that end up getting fucked over, bro. And that ain't right, bro. Nah, you know what I'm cool. saying? Yeah. Like like when it comes, you know, when it comes to to what's been going on recently, bro. Like with the George Floyd situation, I'm gonna just touch on it real, real quick. Um, that was fucked up, in my opinion. What mm-hmm. happened with that man? Um, it was wrong. Uh, I'm glad they're all fired. I'm glad they're all being charged with murder because that's exactly what that was. Nine minutes to put your, you know, to kneel on somebody's neck for nine minutes. Yeah, that's a little excessive. Yeah, but at the same time, two wrongs don't make a right, man. Mm-hmm. And the riots that happened afterwards aren't fixing shit. No, it's just making things. Worse. It's making things worse. It's making, you know, the racist people look at it like, oh, I told you that they're animals. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, look at them. Yeah. Told you they're animals. It's like. There's ways to do things, bro, and there's ways not to do things. I think it was all set up for a higher agenda. And but, that's another thing, too. But that's like, a fact. Like, that's just, that's like a whole, that, that goes deeper. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's, fuck it. Know? Let's talk about but it, we bro. Can, we could talk about it because I really feel like, you know, the government set this up on purpose. Like, you know, you were hearing about the bricks being set up mm-hmm. uh, in certain Antifa areas. And like, and all this other like shit. Like, you see a lot of uh, uh, white uh not protesters but rioters mm-hmm. you know smashing things up and I, i'm not saying like i i really feel like they're just trying to make a race war like you know what i mean yeah. like it's just one of those things and they know what they're doing like they no know, that's a fact they've like, been on what they're doing they know bro. how the mind works they know how at like a like just americans because i feel like americans like there's a lot of us that think like man like i really feel like they're ungrateful man for like you know like just the newer generation coming up, I feel like they're ungrateful. I feel like they're entitled. Like, oh, if I don't, if I don't get it now, then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take everybody down. I'm gonna, bring, you know what I mean? It's just that mentality. Yeah. That's a scary mentality, bro. Yeah, it's an, an entitled mentality is, is definitely dangerous, man. But 
But I agree, bro. I agree. Like, I feel like what's going on is... I'm not going to say that it was fake, like what happened to George Floyd. You know, rest in peace to him and, and condolences go out to his family. But I, it was definitely staged. It was recorded just from the angle that you, that they recorded it at. Like, it was like a setup. Like, it was, it was set up for this reaction yeah for people to have this reaction because stuff and, like this happens all the time yeah exactly you know what I exactly mean? So and that's unfortunate bro yeah. and that is that is the problem yeah you see what i'm saying that is the the fucking the the hammer on the fucking the nail it's like yeah. it happens way too much you know in minority neighborhoods at that and it's like that's where it, I get it, bro. I understand it has to stop, bro. But we got we got to do better and and really organize, bro. We can't yeah. just go out and fucking loot and do all this other crazy shit. It's like, no, that's not gonna get organized, man. man. Get organized and use your fucking head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for yeah. real. Because you make the wrong mistake, they'll just set you up. Like in this world, you really have to play by the books. Like you can't. That's a fact. You can't just like go out of pocket and like just do some reckless stuff mm-hmm. thinking like oh like all right like this is how it's gonna be like i'm just gonna be reckless like no you can't man because they're just gonna set you up for failure just the system how it's working right now like no this is know, listen like, bro like, the system is set up the system is set up to keep people exactly where they're at yep except for the people at the top yep. and that's something now we need to understand like it doesn't matter if you're if you're black if you're white you're hispanic you're you're Asian, whatever. Sorry. You're Middle Eastern, bro. It's rich against poor. Yeah. <laughs> At comes, the end of the day, yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter about your race, bro. Yeah, it's rich true. against poor. And it's yeah, and it's, it's and that's what we choices. need to focus on. Is like, bro, like, yep. like we need to start getting a percentage of the trillions of fucking dollars that are made a year that nobody ever hears about. Mm-hmm. You know, because people feel like there's billionaires and nothing more. No, there's people on this earth that have more money than. They have brains. They have more zeros in their bank account than they can fucking count. Yeah. And it's like, bro, it, it, we we need to we need to organize. You know what I mean? And like, start start making steps for financial gain, and and start making steps to to set up a uh, generational wealth with our family, because that's where it starts. That's you right. set up generational wealth, and you move forward, bro. Yeah. Real talk. For real, for real. That's facts. Um, yeah, and I really feel like it's based on, like, your actions and, like, what you do. And, like, because if you just keep, if you're a troublemaker, and you're a troublemaker, and you're going to keep getting in trouble, like, the system's just going to take care of you. you oh, know? no, that's a you, fact. You know what I mean? Like, so I really don't think it's, it's, it's really a race thing. I really feel like it's just, like, man, like, if you don't, if you don't make, if you don't play by the book, you're just going to go down. Like, that's just, that's just America. Like, yeah, man, but it's sad. Nah, it's sad, it's, though. We can't act like racism doesn't exist. Oh, racism doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? And it's been set up like, bro, if you live in a poverty-stricken area where there's literally no jobs, there's there's no after-school programs, there's nothing to do but sell drugs because Mm -hmm. that's the way the system set it up for it to be, you can't blame that kid for having gotten caught three times trying to sell drugs. Yeah. That's the only thing there is to do in his neighborhood. Yeah. And then, you know, like stereotyping is real bro yeah you know like you go to try to get a job you can't because of your name you try to get a job you can't because of your hair you know what i'm saying it's just like yeah that really happens bro and it's like we can't ignore it like it doesn't happen as much as it used to yeah and that's the fucking great thing yeah that's a good but thing. it happens bro yeah. because personally i've dealt with that shit bro and mm-hmm. it, it's like it it's real bro yeah, that shit's yeah. real and and we we got to start you know, acknowledging that, like, a lot of the people that that are born in poverty-stricken situations just, they don't have the the accessibility to other things that certain people do. Like, let's be real, bro. We grew up in the suburbs. Like, the suburbs, you have more opportunity. You don't, ha- you don't deal with shootings on your street every, every day. day. You know what I mean? Like, yep. there's a lot of shit we don't have to deal with mm-hmm. that they do. Yep. And on top of that, you have no jobs. You, you, like, what? That whole mentality, it's, it's a... It's a war zone. It, yeah, it's an energy that just, like, festers there, bro. And it's like, 
that's what we got to get rid of. We got to help. We got to help. Because once you educate somebody, then at that point, like somebody that doesn't have the food, you can't blame them, nigga. You don't know nothing. Yeah. But now, l- come here, nigga. Let me show you. This is what, how we should do it. If you don't want to do it this way and you still want to go do that, then that's, that's on you That's now. on your choice. All it's like, listen, choices. bro. But we at least need to give... We at least need to give the people that don't have a chance a chance mm-hmm. before we dismiss them and be like, oh, they ain't shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. There's a lot of people out there that that are stuck in situations they don't, they didn't choose to be in. Yeah. And they got to do what they got to do, you know? Yeah. But if they had that opportunity, bro, they'll take advantage of it, bro, and they'll make good out of it, bro. Mm-hmm. For real. And that's yeah. in any, in any, any fucking yeah, na- yeah. neighborhood, like any race, anywhere. Any, yeah. Real that's talk. true. That's true. They deserve the opportunity, just like everybody else. Real shit. And that's the only thing, bro. Like, that's the only thing. Everybody deserves the same opportunity, and everybody deserves to be treated the same. Mm -hmm. And that goes for everybody, bro, Mm -hmm. because I've met met races in all races. Yeah. Like, I've met Puerto Ricans that don't like other Puerto Ricans because of their skin tone. I've met white people that don't like black people. I've met black people that don't like white people. Yeah. I've met... Asians that don't like nobody but fucking Asians. Like, mm-hmm. dead ass. Like, everybody, every race has their own set of races. But I feel like we're getting better at it, bro. Yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah, I feel like I, we're getting better at gonna it. It's going to take some time, man. But uh, over the past hundred years, yeah, I think we've made yeah, some, some overall, change. Yeah, overall, it's been a lot of change. Yeah, yeah. It's like, been a lot of change. I feel change. like we've been moving forward. Have we been doing it fast enough? Probably not. Probably not, but it... You know, but, it's human nature, bro. Yeah, bro. We're always going to be in conflict. We've been in, at war since the beginning of fucking time. Since the fucking, since the uh, Neanderthals picked up fucking <laughs> bricks and fucking shit and started hitting each other with it. Like, <laughs> no, for real, no, bro. For like, real. We've, been at, we've been at war for forever, so it, it's not going to change much. But honestly, all you can do is try. All you can do is try, bro. Yeah. And that's real. it, man. And, and make your difference, you know what I'm saying? Make the difference that you feel needs to be made. Yeah, because, man, I know a piece of shit when I see one. And, I've seen, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and I've seen plenty of different shades. I've seen Not pieces facts. of shits in white, facts. black, Spanish. Facts. Every color of the rainbow. So, real talk. I swear to God. Nah, for real. So, uh, I treat everybody the same. Yeah, honestly. for people you that know, don't know, bro, yeah. me and John, been we've, we've, we've met a lot of people. My dog used to work at, you know... At a bar downtown Orlando that was lit. He came across a lot of people. I used to work security yep. for the uh, city hall, you know what I'm saying, in Ocala. So I met a lot of people, bro. And it's true, bro. You meet people that are good in every race, and then you meet people that are pieces of shit in every race. Where you're just like, that guy's a dick. That guy's an asshole. She's a bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, like it is what it is, it is bro. Like, it it's is. humans. Yep. It's fucking humans. Yep. For real. Very, very true. But besides all that shit, man, like, it's crazy how this supply and demand shit is going up, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, like uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Price of chicken went up, bro. The price of beef, bro. Price of food is going up all across the board. Price of bud is going up. Yeah. It's like. Everything. Everything, bro. It's like, you you got to get with the program, dog. Or start growing your own shit. Like, yeah. I am. You remember I sent you a video on my neck? Yo, guys, I'm growing up. I'm growing a garden, all right? <laughs> I got growing some cucumbers, you know, nah, some peppers, facts. you know. Nah, but for real, bro, you gotta. You never grow, know. You got, you got to, bro. You yeah. gotta grow your own shit, bro. That's and true. it's like, it's crazy, man. Like how people don't understand how supply and demand works. They really don't. It's mm-hmm. like, bro, when there's less of something, but the same amount of people want it, the price, the price is gonna go up uh, for the <laughs> same shit. It's like that's yeah. that's how it works, bro. It's yeah. like. And people want to fucking freak out about it. It's like, dog. Bro. Like you said, either grow your own tomatoes and fucking cucumbers and shit, or you're going to get taxed. Yeah. That's that's period, point blank. Yeah. Everybody's trying to stock up at a, at a time like this. What do you think? Of, that's just human nature. You want to have food and take care of your family, right? Everybody's going to stock up. like, And prices are just going to go up because they can't take care of you. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Nah, bro. But shit, there's about to be a food shortage too, man. Yeah, bro. Bro, shit, like, shit's, <laughs> shit's getting serious, bro. Yeah. We might have to center that scope, dog, and go get us a deer right quick, bro. Hey, 
We might have to. <laughs> There's one right here on the wall. <laughs> Gotta get his cousin right over there. No, man. Put him Fuck right it. next to him. I'll just go fishing, man. I love fishing. Yeah, fishing is relaxing, bro. Yeah. But to catch food, you'd have to be out there like every day, bro. Yeah, and the sun all burnt and That's shit. That's fucking all trash. Like a deer, you, you, you know, you put that bitch in a deep freezer for nine months, you're good. Damn, that's true. <laughs> but I feel bad for the people in Alaska because they have to prepare for the winter time and they can't hunt during the winter time. Yeah. Oh my god. So dude. think about I don't know those what... people, how they're feeling. <sighs> they can't even go to a goddamn Walmart. They gotta fucking go outside, make sure they I got mean, food for each. There's a show about that. Yeah, yeah, I know. But it's like fuck man, I feel like nah, I feel man. like if you get yourself in a in a cycle you'd be able to do it. Yeah. It's like, why would you want to? <laughs> like, yeah, nah. like not nah, for real. Like, we came a long way from that, bro. A lot of people had to make a lot of sacrifices, and a lot of hours <laughs> yeah. were spent, like, 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 <laughs> like inventing <laughs> electricity and nah, air I, conditioning I, I, and I all this shit. shit Fuck man. I, I see some shit, like motherfuckers, yo, man, secluded from fucking Fuck. civilization for forty years. I'm like, Jesus, Jesus Christ. What'd you do? Fuck a monkey? Like, nah, that nigga was you, pissed at the do? world. He was pissed at the world. Nah, he didn't want to talk nah, to like, nobody. Fuck everybody. It was that one day where he just snapped. And he said, you know what? I'm going to go to the tallest mountain I can find in Alaska, nigga, and stay there for 40 years. Homie probably lost his wife, lost his job, lost his dog. <laughs> He probably lost everything in the world to him. And he was like, yo, I'm done. I'm out of here. Nah, nah, I'm leaving. Years. I'm going to the Amazon. And I'm but, just gonna live there. <laughs> nah, nah, you'd get fucked up in the Amazon. Yeah. You <laughs> but Alaska, you know. Alaska, yeah. I mean, that's just crazy, too. Yeah. All those territories, I wouldn't want to fucking get stuck in. But we're dog. still able to survive. We're still, if we really wanted to. Oh, no, we you could. could, but it's like. You're sitting there trying to start a fire, you're shivering, nigga. You fucking piss yourself and it froze on your leg. And then you, like, nigga, you're fucked. Like, you, you can't you, feel nothing. Man, our life is, you know, we take our shit, like. Bro, we take shit for granted. Yeah. Like, like my comfortable ass bed, the fucking fan that I sleep under, <laughs> the AC fucking blowing out the vent. You know, mosquitoes. You know I mean? like, like, bro, I hate mosquitoes. I get bit bro. on my head, bro. I look like I got a fucking crater on my head. Like, nah, dog. Like, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> looks like I just grown my another head. My dog be looking like he got chicken pox when he got bit. No, for head. real. I swear. Like, damn, I start bro. swelling up looking like Will Smith from fucking. <laughs> from Hitch. Yeah, from Hitch. <laughs> you looking rough. Nah, 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 bro. Mosquitoes are fucking trash. But you know what? What's more trash? Fucking love bugs, bro. I fucking hate those things. Bro. Love bugs, man. Uh, love bugs are so fucking trash. Like whoever made them, because I heard they were man. Nah, like, I don't know. Nah, that's that's a myth. I heard that, but then I heard that that's bullshit. Yeah. So I don't know what to believe. <laughs> I don't know. God, why'd you do this to us, man? We got new cars. <laughs> We got our fucking paint jobs dead and shit. Nah, and now we got to deal with love bugs and shit. That's trash. That's fucking ass. Nah, and they be sticking together and shit, like squatted up. Bro, they fuck till they die. Uh, yeah. And then when they don't have somebody to fuck, they, they die. die. <laughs> That's just like us, man. We don't find lovers, we die. And if we just gonna, and if we do have each other, we gonna keep smashing till the nah, day we nah, die. Facts, bro. Smash till you die. I can't bro. imagine. Just being That's old. That's shit life, though. I'm being right old. Right. Like, being old, old. Like, 80, 90 years old and, like, still having sex. Like, do people, like, do they still do that? Or is it, like, what age oh, do you guys fuck, just stop bro. having sex? Like. Yeah, that'd be, that'd that's, be kinda, that's a good fucking question, bro. I know I'm going to try to have sex as long as my shit work. Because oh, I've heard yeah, a lot of true. niggas say that their shit stop working and shit after a certain age. I'm like, I don't want that to happen. Nah. That's nah. trash. I'll just, I'll just have a boner forever. Nah, bro, I'm gonna pop so many Viagra, dog. Nah, my bro. shit is gonna look like Matumbo's fucking fist, dog. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just get some steroids, pop that baby up. You know what I mean? <laughs> steroids, dog. <laughs> pop that baby up and stay like that forever. My dog's gonna be fucking hard twenty four seven. Just call me Hercules. <laughs> swear to God, bro. Nah, man, that's crazy. Nah, that's super, super duper trash. Nah, bro. But, but hey, like, man, if we plan on living a, a long life, that's something that we're gonna have to deal with eventually. Yeah, just gotta do yoga Real and shit, time. probably. Just stay nah, flexible. Nigga. At ninety years old, I don't give a fuck how much <laughs> yoga you do, bro. Your shit's probably not going up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, ninety, bro. Damn, nah, that ass. That's trash. That ass. That's super trash. 
But yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that tuned in again. Go ahead and like, Yeet. share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you're the first notified whenever we drop a video. We appreciate everybody. The subscribers are going up, and don't forget that we're doing a giveaway at a thousand. So stay oh. tuned, and we appreciate you guys. Woo!